I am very excited this morning because I am just packing up to go away for a night. I get very excited when I am going away. It doesn't matter whether it's a close place, a far place, for a long time, a short time. It's very exciting to me to be going anywhere. And I haven't done... Yeah, I've been away for one night this year. Like, it's nearly the end of February and all I've done is been away, gone away for one night. The last time I went away was, like, Mallorca in October of last year. So, going away for a night. We're only going, I say only, but we're, we're going to North Wales, which isn't far from us at all. But I'm just super excited. And I've got my bag here and I'm just packing up this bag. I will link it down below because I absolutely love this bag. I bought it for when I went to Mallorca for it's like the biggest size that you can have uh, as like a personal item you know on like cheap flights like Ryanair and EasyJet and things uh, there's this bag you don't have to pay for it at all it can be your personal item it can go under the seat and it's perfect for you know just like short breaks over in Europe but it also works you know just for short stays in this country so I am packing Packing that up now. I don't need very much at all. I just need, in fact, I've kind of got my things here. I've got a towel. I've got my swimsuit, my running pants, some knickers, some socks, and then I'll get my toiletries and maybe a few, a few other little bits that I need. But yeah, that's almost packing <laughs> done. To be quite honest, we are going to a place now. I can't pronounce any of these names so if you know how they are pronounced phonetically write them for me <laughs> in the comments we are going to Kona's well somewhere near Kona's Key North Wales um I, I think that's how you say it I don't know but then also today we're going to Wet Wetpua Park Ello, Ello Castle maybe I'll learn how I say it when I'm there we're going there um, today and then we're going to check into our hotel later on. I'm doing a bit of a secret. Um, don't tell anyone. I am a, I do mystery shopping sometimes and this is what this is this evening. Um, if you don't know what mystery shopping is, it's when you kind of go, for me, I go to like hotels or restaurants stay there or eat a meal and then you fill out like a survey take some photos and things i don't know why i'm whispering <laughs> take some photos of your experience fill out a survey about your experience and then just send it off and i do that sometimes and that is what today's stay is we did one the night that i've had away this year we did one a few weeks ago and it's nice it's a similar sort of hotel that we did it, it's a shame because the hotel that we're going to has got um, like a pool, hence taking my swimsuit, a pool and sauna and steam and like um, hot tub jacuzzi things and stuff. Um, also has a gym, hence me taking my uh, gym stuff. And last time we went, it was really nice, like me and Stephen went down to the pool and, you know, went in the sauna and the steam room and all of that stuff and it was really nice. But unfortunately, Stephen's not going to be able to do it because he has had some surgery last week he just had a, an appointment yesterday to get like, stitches out and he, he he's not in a good way bless him he is all right to to um to go away like i've asked him like are you sure like i booked this before i knew and he said he is okay um to kind of like be walking around and doing the things that we're doing but he's at like absolutely he's not allowed like baths and things so he absolutely like can't go in the pool and stuff which is a shame it's disappointing I don't know whether I will go without him or not, but I'm taking my stuff just in case. Um, we will see. Oh, and also, for anyone who's been around for a while, who was expecting me to be maybe... Oh, dropping stuff. Was expecting me to be maybe sat in a load of building works because the renovation on the house is happening. Unfortunately, no. It's a very long, frustrating, annoying situation that I'm getting really irritated by. <laughs> the work still have not started, <clears throat> excuse me, on the house, um, which, like I say, is very frustrating. I'm hoping, I feel like I say this very often, I'm hoping they start very soon. If not, I'm gonna get a new builder because it's starting to take the PISS now. So yeah, there's that. But let's not focus on that. Let's focus on going away for the night. I'm packed, I'm ready. I am raring to go, 
it is quarter to ten. Stephen's not awake though. The problem with teenagers, <laughs> I'm not gonna wake him up just yet. I'm gonna, like, if it gets to maybe like 11 and he's not awake, I'm gonna wake him up so we can go. The weather, unfortunately, is pretty naff today. It is rainy. Well, not, well, yeah, kind of rainy. Grey. Just miserable, really. I'm not a fan of <laughs> the English. It's kind of, I kind of just hibernate in the winter. I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything because I really do kind of hate the weather. I have a dream, which I will make happen, um, that in the future, I will not be spending the winters in the UK. They will be spent in far sunnier, warmer climates. And I can't wait for it. I've got my hoodie on because I'm cold. I'm not turning my turntable heating on because we're going out and I'm not, in fact, I very, I try to not turn my central heating on, <laughs> much to the delight of, of my family. I try to not turn it on as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm one of those put an extra layer on type of people <laughs> rather than turn the heating on. Uh, but yeah, I just want to get going, really. Oh, also, look, do you like my, I have maps everywhere. Uh, this is kind of a new one. It's a... UK one, Stephen got it me for Christmas, it was off Etsy, I really like it, I have a desire, well I have a desire to go everywhere in the whole world I guess, but I haven't even started scratching it off yet, like a couple of years ago I wanted to like visit every, um, what are these called, <laughs> counties, every county in the United Kingdom, Great Britain, I, I, um, that's terrible, I don't know what this whole thing is called when we have Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland and everything. And Anyway, I want to visit all of them and so he got me this little scratch map that I can uh, I can cross off, I can scratch off when I've been to them. I need to do it really, I really like it. I do want to put it in like a nice frame but for now it's just blue tacked up there. He's up, we're leaving. Let's go. <laughs> Wepra. How would you say it? How would you say it? Wepra. Wepra. Oh, there's a waterfall. So how do you say that? The owl, the owl, the owl. I don't know. I can hear the waterfall. We're in Wepra. I'm just going to call it Wepra, even if it's wrong. We're in Wepra, Wepra, Wepra Park. And I've just found a little hike. Oh, I feel like I want to go down there. It's not on my, I've just found a hike on um, my old trails app. That we're gonna follow. Although I want to go off the off the route and go down there, but we won't for now. It's only like I don't know, like an hour walk around. It goes up to the castle and then back on itself. Stephen doesn't trust me that I won't get us lost. I don't think I can. I think it's just like literally a circular path around. And actually, the day has turned out quite nice. Quite a bit of blue sky going on. I want to go down there and walk on the path, but Stephen won't let me. I say won't let me, he's not going to come with me. Second of England was almost killed in these woods. Ooh, we're on the last little stretch to the castle. It's a bit of a hill. I don't think. Oh look, that might be it. I was just going to say. I don't think it's actually much of a castle. I think it's just a bit of ruins. We'll see when we get there. It's steep and muddy. 
Here we go. We're at the castle. Castle's purpose. Hidden in the woods. It is hidden in the woods. It's a bit of an odd place for a castle, isn't it? We're out of breath. Well, it is apparently a mystery why it was built here. We do like a good castle though. It is a stupid place because like we're nearly at the top of the castle and there's land, like ground there. And that sign they were just saying how it's a stupid place to build a castle because you could just like go in with your siege weapons there or whatever. Whoa, look at these steps. Whenever I see big steps like this, it makes me think of the um, Great Wall of China. Yeah, and what happened to it? Is it slippy? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be careful. I'm a bit scared. I don't like heights. Right, I'm going up. Stephen thinks... Oh, that was a big step. Stephen thinks I might be scared up here. I'm going to be a little bit scared. Oh, it's like both sides. No, it's not too bad. It's not actually too high, is it? No, I'm not scared of this. Like, if I look down there at that lady, it's far down. Oh, it scares me. Or what? Oh, see. If you do silly things, it... I'm not doing silly things up here, are you joking? <laughs> Barriers, we see all over. We're gonna loop back the other way now. I don't think there's anything else to do here. We're just gonna loop back to the car. Oh. Last flight. So unfit. I've been running twice a week. No, I haven't. I've been running three times a week since the New Year as well. I think I'll be a bit fitter than this. Oh, look. <laughs> They're not muddy now. Oh, yes. I made it. Oh, Stephen's left me. He's gone back to the car and I'm on a waterfall hunt. I think, I think I need to get down here. I don't know how to get down here. Hmm. I thought it was a bigger waterfall. I thought the thing that we didn't see, that we saw before wasn't the big waterfall, but it is the big waterfall that's here. It's not that big. Let me show you. <laughs> it's kind of pungs, to be honest. It stinks! This is quite interesting though, it says the waterfall powers a turbine to generate electricity for the old hall. That was nice. Back in the car, as you can see, we're now going to do a 14 minute drive. <coughs> oh no. Bless you. We are going to go, we're going to go to Flint. It's a little Welsh town. There is a castle there. I don't know what else, we're just going to go and have a little look, a little wander around. We've arrived, we're in the car park, it's really quite nice, we've just, well I don't really know where, we've arrived in Flint, we've just sort of parked up. Let me show you where we are, by Flint Castle, and I thought there's like a river here, here, and I thought that the land over there was England, but Stephen seems to think it's still Wales. Where are we? I mean, the map's pointed the wrong way. You on the map pointed the wrong way. Like that bit could be England and that bit could be Wales. This is really quite nice, look at this. The day is really quite glorious for February as well. We've brought a bit of a picnic with us. We're just packing it up and we're going to go over to the castle and eat our picnic. Because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. This is a bit more of a impressive ruins. I mean, it's still quite a ruined castle, but. <laughs> that was nice. I'm a 
bit full now. I brought with me for my pack lunch like a Moroccan couscous that I made the other day. Leftovers, which was nice. Going into the castle. I think some of the towers are locked up that we can't access them, but we can access this one. Are we high up? It's not very. Not very. No, it's not really. King Richard II is standing on the battlements. They don't normally work Flint's these things. I wasn't expecting it to work. It is becoming clear King Richard must step aside and step allow aside. his cousin Henry Bolingbroke to take the crown. This is where I wanted to go up here, but. The gate's locked. Look at this man up here. I don't know what he's doing. Some work. I'm scared for him. I oh, know he's got a ladder. You're not going? Just, oh, no, maybe I'm not going. We're just like in the moat. There's people here. It must be doable. Boggy. I think I'd be alright going. I've got like big walking boots on, but Stephen's only got trainers on, so we go round. It's too boggy. A man did just make it in his trainers, but it's not. Well, yeah, it is rash. A man did just make it in his trainers, but he did look like he was sinking in quite a bit. And Stephen, with his injury, we don't want to risk him kind of falling over or anything. Nice to go that way though. Could we not like to walk that way just for like 10 minutes or so? This ground, yeah, I was gonna say actually, this ground is all just like boggy and I feel like I could just put my foot down and it just sinks down. Yeah, there was dog poo there. Castellium Supra. 